Welcome to Kenzium's Channel Advisor Connector. Let's get started by configuring the API and FTP mechanisms that will allow the connector to pass data between Channel Advisor and Acumatica. Let's head to the newly created workspace in Acumatica. Navigate to the Channel Advisor workspace that will now appear after publishing the extension package. Click on Site Configuration. Our configuration preferences will be on this screen. We'll start by entering in a unique name and description for the site that will be connected to Acumatica. This is meant to give us some clarity to what extension is being used if using multiple connectors. Next, let's look at the Access Configuration section. This is where we can establish an API connection between Channel Advisor and Acumatica. We'll start by including the account ID, which you can find included in your materials that you received with your Channel Advisor implementation. We also need to add the profile ID. You can find this in the URL of your Channel Advisor Merchant Dashboard. It will be the 8-digit number at the end of the URL. That can be entered within the Profile ID field in Acumatica. The next six fields require us establishing a developer account. To add in our developer key and password, let's create a developer account. Navigate to developer.channeladvisor.com and click Request an Account from the left-hand panel. This will give us another link to request an account. Enter in the information, and a confirmation email will be sent to the email selected with the developer key and confirmation that the account was created. Now that we have a developer key, we can enter this into our access configuration field and the password we created while creating the developer account. Once these fields are entered, click Request API Access at the top of the screen. Our request for API access can be found in the Channel Advisor Merchant site under Developer Authorizations in the Account tab. We can approve this by selecting Enable or Disable in the Actions column on the right-hand side. Once we've approved this, we have API access between Channel Advisor and Acumatica. There are three more pieces of information we need to obtain in order to complete our access configuration. The Refresh token, the Shared Secret token, and the Application ID. To get this information, we need to head back to developers.channeladvisor.com. Click on the Developer Console and click the Login site, where you can log in with your developer key and password. Now, we need to click Create New Application, create a new name for the application, and a brief description, which is optional. When you're ready, click Create Application. At the bottom of our screen, our new application is created, and our application ID and our shared secret token are created. To obtain our refresh tokens, simply click Add Integration and Tokens and select the account associated with it. Click Grant Access when ready, and your refresh token can now be copied and pasted into the field within Acumatica. Now that our API has been configured, we can add our FTP details. The connector uses both API and FTP to send information between Acumatica and Channel Advisors. This maintains optimal server performance. First, we'll add in the host name, which is ftps.channeladvisor.com. We can also add in the username and password for the Channel Advisor Merchant site. And for the input directory, we'll select Inventory, as this is where most of our FTPs will be sent. You may notice that there's a prefix added before the email here. This is set to allow the two systems to ensure the connection is made. This prefix in the username can be established in the Channel Advisor Merchant site by navigating to the Products tab and selecting Automated Imports. The prefix can be user determined, and once created, can be attached to before the email and the FTP credentials. Once we enter in all the information into our access configuration and FTP configuration fields, we can click Verify API Access and Verify FTP Access to ensure the connection is successful. When we get the green check mark on both accounts, it looks like the connection was made.